It's a pleasure talking to you, man, Senator Buckner. Um, do you have hope about this process? What are your hopes about this process? Well, the process going on now is free and fair. As you can all see, people are voting in a comfortable atmosphere and they're leaving. So I don't think that there's anything we can complain about this process at all. Well, we've seen in the past, it does look like uh, PDP was docile for the past four years. Do you think PDP has a chance to challenge the APC this time around at the governorship election? I don't think PDP has been docile. We have been working very hard. I think what you have is you've got a whole lot of um, propaganda going on and we are not propagandist. We do not tell lies to the people. Hello. And, uh, you know, and that is the difference. When we come out, we speak to the people and we speak the truth. And unfortunately, it seems that people like to believe in um, falsehood. Hello. Mr. Arobieke. Mr. Mr. Arobieke. Okuola. I mean, the, the, the question is that the kind of candidate that the uh, PDP needs to be able to Matthew. defeat the APC, do you think Okuala you Matthew. have it this time around? I think we have. It's not so much the candidate, it's the machinery on the ground, whether we have the machinery on the ground to be able to defeat um, APC. Not only that, then we have to be sure that INEC but is fair. INEC is no longer independent. INEC is in the, well, I wouldn't say in the pocket exactly, but they are certainly leaning towards APC and everything we see. We could see that quite clearly from what happened in the Ekiti and Oshun elections. And I am hoping that there will be something done about INEC and maybe some of these electoral officers should be removed. Some of the chieftains of the APC are your friends, your, your former political uh, friends and uh, your allies. As it stands right now, what do you make of what is happening in the APC when an incumbent governor could not get a return ticket? Well, I think it's absolutely disgraceful what has happened in APC. Because, you see, it would seem that um, the whole idea in APC is that everybody should be serving one man. And if you are not ready to serve that one man, then you are out, so to speak. And that one man is the person who decides who is who, and everybody has to worship him, everybody has to bring dues to him, you know? And, you know, it's not a political party. It's more like a mafia organization. You were very close Captain to him before Tunji. now. Was it, has he always been like that? Very close to who? The former governor. Which fun are going to The person you are referring to. Well, I was never very close to him. Yes, we were together in the Senate. We were together. We fought for the June 12, restoration of June 12, and I was his deputy. But certainly, if the way he treated me when I was his deputy governor was the way you treat somebody who's very Mr. close Mr. to you, Williams. then I'm sorry. Honorable I think Bushoyo. it leaves much, much, much Mrs. to be desired. Do you think the PDP stand a chance in this election? Yes, I do. Really? Because I believe everybody's fed up with APC. What have they done for the people? They have impoverished the people. They have driven um, businesses away to other countries. So what is the benefit to the other ordinary person? People are starving. Very few people can even afford one square meal a day in Nigeria today. I mean, uh, a lot of people in Lagos uh, have this feeling that APC is synonymous to, the, to Lagos and Lagos is synonymous to the APC. APC is not synonymous to Lagos, and Lagos cannot be synonymous to APC. Uh, just because one person thinks that they have Lagos State in their pocket does not mean to say that APC is synonymous to APC. People are being cheated of their rights in Lagos State. Elections are being rigged shamefully. And 
the um, powers that be are in fact acquiescing in whatever is happening. Allow you go, ma, because the question on the minds of a lot of people, especially those who know the PDP very well, Senator Obanikoro is no longer with you. You got uh, your chairman is no longer with you. Those very critical structures that you had once had that made PDP tick are gone. Well, first of all, you have to ask why those people are no longer with us. I think most of these people had problems with the EFCC, and of course, once you move to APC, no matter whatever problem you have with ESCC, you would then become a saint. <laughs> and your problems are gone. I think this is why so many people are moving into APC. It's those people who have problems that are moving out of PDP into APC. Because these people can you win elections. They, have, they were very critical. They won elections for you, but they're no longer there. Can you win elections? Well, I'm sorry to say so. In Yoruba, we say, you know, which means that, you know, it doesn't mean to say that because somebody is not there, another person cannot take his place. Thank you so much, Senator. I appreciate your time. It's a pleasure.